good afternoon everyone good afternoon jury members i am pooja monopra i am post graduate student from our department of oral pathology government dental college and hospital amdabad so my study on sex determination from the pulse tooth area ratio of incisors and the canine using phone beam computer tomography images next slide please so coming to the introduction the sex prediction from the teeth is an important domain in the forensic odontology in skeletal remain cases the osteological and the odontological data are applied to predict the sex of an individual under the anthropological and the forensic contents the dental matrix tried especially of the canine and the molars have been proven to be more effective in the predicting the sex here the radiographs in the forensic dentistry have been more application in edge estimation and the sex prediction from the teeth their use is very limited so here in the present study is an attempt to explore the applicability of the dental radiograph the images of upper, upper central incisor and the canine in determining the sex here the radiograph that are using that is a part of an our age estimation study that is done previously in the same institute next slide please so aim and objectives the aim of the study is to test the applicability of the pulp tooth area a uh, ratio obtaining from the cbct images of the incisors and the canine in determining the sex of an individual the objectives of our study is that to measure the pulp area and the tooth area of a different section of the cbct images of the maxillary central incisor of the both the side and the canine and then calculate the ptr value using this measured data and to correlate this ptr value between the both the sides and this compare with the male and female next slide please so coming to the material method so i used uh, in the study 100 subjects are included in which the 57 male and the 43 females are there in 50 uh, in the male the mean age of males are the 40.87 year and in females 47.97 years the mean age uh, that are included uh, of the uh, subject that using uh, that have a fully formed cbct images that have a fully formed root and with no abnormalities uh, should be there in the teeth and uh, the teeth which have a uh, pulp abnormalities or the dental abnormalities or any periapical lesions or any pathology uh, that should be excluded so i took the two uh, sections the title and the actual of a cbct images uh, that i further uh, divided the five section in the title section i divide into two main s1 and s2 so in s1 uh, category we include the uh, mid sagittal portion of the maxillary uh, central incisor and the canine and s2 that is a mid sagittal section from the cemento enamel junction to the mid root portion of the maxillary tooth so that is both are from the sagittal section now in the actual we uh, put the divide in the s3 s4 and the s5 section so in s3 that is the two third portion of the crown uh, and the ptr value of the same uh, canine and the incisor teeth and s4 it is a c uh, this is a axial section at the cej in the maxillary tooth and the s5 is the axial section from the mid root portion of the maxillary teeth right so after acquisition uh, after acquisited the cbct images i uh, in, uh, insert this uh, uh, 2d images in the autocad uh, computer Uh, so drafting software where uh, i drew the minimum 10 points uh, 10 dots around the pulse spaces and the 30 points around the uh, here we can see uh, uh, around 30 points around the tooth area and then i measure the area of tooth and the area of the pulp but then i calculate the uh, ptr pulp tooth area ratio and then finally data analysis using the spss software next slide please so coming to the results the uh, descriptive analysis shows here the 43% are uh, females and the 57% are male uh, here in the table one i show uh, here the, uh, it shows the correlation of the mean of ptr according to tooth section between the both the sides in the male and female so if we see here in the male there is a no significant difference between the both the sides in all s1 s2 s3 and the s4 and the s5 section so size uh, side or whether it is right or left incisor or the canine that doesn't matter but here in the female we found two significant result in the s4 in the central incisor and s5 that is in the canine so except this two uh, uh, section that all are insignificant here in the male we found the maximum correlation that is 94% around that is in the central incisor at s1 section and in the female here the 91% correlation that is in the s5 in the canine so this two uh, have a maximum correlation and we can use this tooth maximally so coming uh, coming to the next slide uh, next slide please okay here a uh, pair t test uh, showing the difference in the ptr of all the levels in the incisor between male and female so here in the if we compare the right or central incisor and we uh, we are here found the significant difference in the male and female in ptr value of s1 section s3 section and s5 so here among them the S5 section shows the maximum significant between the male and female. Here in the left uh, central incisor, almost the, all the sections shows the highly significant difference between male and female in the PTR value. Uh, next slide, please. 
here in the table three, we uh, here the same thing we observed in the canine. Here in the S four one section, in the male and female, we found a significant difference. Again, in S three also, we found a significant difference between uh, male and female in the PTI value. Again, in the left uh, canine, we found a significant difference in the S one and S four. Next slide, please. So coming to the discussion, the present study is explored to potential the use of the CBCT in the field of forensic for sex estimation using the pulp tooth area ratio in right and left maxillary incisors and the canine by measuring the PTR in sagittal as well as the actual plane. So here the end did the same study using the pulp tooth volume ratio using the CBCT images and maxillary central and uh, uh, left uh, central incisor and the canine. His study shows the sex uh, significant difference in the male and female and he arrived, uh, he derived a sex form uh, this uh, formula which shows the low coefficient when the age was unknown. Uh, Hegnifer also did the same study using the lower canine in Iranian population uh, where he also found a different, uh, significant difference in male and female in PTR value using the sagittal section which is uh, supported uh, in, our, uh, which is in our study we found a significant difference in maxillary central incisor uh, in both the actual as well as the sagittal section. Gulshahi and the Salemi also did the same uh, study in the maxillary anterior teeth, uh, but they don't find any significant result in male and female. In, that is in contrast to our study, which our study shows the highly significant difference in the right central incisors. Next slide, please. Coming to the conclusion. So this study is attempt to answer the question that does this incisor and the canine tooth belongs to the male or female? The radiograph image may be used uh, as an adjacent to the well-established odontomatic methods for the sex prediction, as there is a no significant side difference in the PTR value of all the sections in the both incisor and the canine. There is a no influence on the side with the sex prediction. In the male, the best correlation, as I say, it was observed in incisor in a sagittal S1 section, and in the female, it was observed uh, in the canine in S4 section. Next slide, please. So limitation of the study and the future recommendation. So limitation, uh, in the study, we analyze only four teeth of the particular subjects. We can use the maximum teeth as we can, and the sample size is too less to sustain the results. So there is an, it is a pilot study to design, a, to design a large sample study. And in case of any single extracted tooth, mounting of that particular tooth in CBCT machine, it becomes difficult. For sex estimation, Odontometric measure is a considered as an ideal tool or important tool. Then, uh, then hence the curative study with the dental models need to be carried out. Uh, also, the 2D image of the three-dimensional obtained radiographic image are used. So, the study did not compare the 2D area with the 3D volume of the pulp and the tooth. This advanced CBCT is an attempt to explore the applicability of the difference in the male and female. Next slide, please. Oh, these are my reference. Uh, thank you so much.